Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have an Amazon haul coming at you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. I make videos based on my vegan lifestyle, my dairy and egg allergy, fashion and beauty. These videos come out every Sunday in the morning and Thursday evening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And here we go. So I've been going through the items that I have in my home and if there's anything that I can change to eco-friendly then I'm definitely making the switch. I know it's kind of hard to do everything at once so like I said I'm just going through things slowly and whatever catches my eye is what I'm going with. I do like to drink my smoothies in the morning with a straw. I have had the one glass straw for about three years now but I decided I finally needed to get some more especially when we're in the car and we stop by like booster drinks and we want to get a smoothie every time I grab one of those plastic straws it makes me crazy because I know I have a glass straw at home it's just I need more I need one for the car I need one for my bag I need one for work I need one for the house so I was looking on Amazon and I thought I would share everything that I found with you guys plastic for me is like really on my radar anything that I can switch out like my garbage bags we've already switched out I think they're called the sumo bags is that what they're called sumo bags um which are biodegradable. The only thing that sucks is that when you buy food, it comes in like these plastic packaging and the plastic you gotta throw out and it goes into like this biodegradable bag that is just, anyways. Let's just get started with this video. And the reason why I'm bringing all of this up is because I finally got some glass straws. So I went on Amazon. I was looking up a couple things, but the glass straws were at the top of my list. I even saved the packaging. I've only used these two just so that I could show you guys. Gabriel, can you give us a pronunciation over here? Michelle. So if you guys don't know, my partner in crime over there loves like anything Asian and he's actually learned some of the languages and understands if people are speaking Chinese, Japanese, Cantonese. Mandarin or Cantonese. Mandarin or Cantonese. So it came with three straight straws and three bent straws. It does say on the packaging, adult supervision required if used by children under the age of 12. And these are 8.5 to 10 millimeters. They are BPA free and if one breaks you can throw it out in the recycling. It also came with these two glass straw cleaners. I already have one of these but it's nice to have more of them. This is definitely a must if you have stainless steel or glass because trust me you can't just use it, run the water through it and expect for everything to come out. Chunks are going to dry up in there when you have your next smoothie. You're going to get that dried chunky bacteria flowing right back into your mouth. I personally like to use the glass ones just because I can see through when I'm cleaning them. The stainless steel, I could run this through over and over and over inside again, but I don't know if I'm getting anything. I don't know if I missed a spot and that just makes me crazy. I need to know. Moving on to these facial mask applicators. It comes in this box. There's five of them in here. They are synthetic mask application brushes. I've already used two of them. They're super easy to clean. Just run it under the water. You can add in a little bit of soap too. It makes it a lot easier to put your mask on. It doesn't get stuck under your nails, which that's what makes me the craziest is having to stay there under the water and like try to get everything out. Cause sometimes depending on the mask that you're wearing, it could be black or green. And if you're walking around with that under your nails, you just look like you don't clean yourself. Anyways, I've really been liking these ones. They are paraben free and cruelty free, which I really like. This is from the brand Grace and Stella, which I also found on Amazon. It's fast and easy. It also makes you feel like you're at a spa. And after a long day at work and you just want to come home, chill and relax, the more soothing and pampering you can do for yourself, the better. This actually does help, at least for me. I like that whole illusion of being in a spa, so I highly recommend these ones. I mean, they're going to last a really long time, and there's five. Like, really, how much more do I need? So on to the next one. This is something that I've had my eye on for years now. I don't know why it's taken me this long to actually purchase something like this, but it comes in this big bag. They're actually facial pads like this. These are the smallest size that I could find. Now, the reason why I wanted to get fabric ones is because you can easily just wash it and reuse it. I feel like as a woman that likes a lot of skincare and likes to play around with makeup, there's a lot of cotton pads and rounds that are thrown out every single day. And I can't even imagine what a whole garbage bag looks like after a year of waste of that. And I feel like it's such a waste of money too when you keep buying some things that you just keep throwing out. So I've heard a lot of people talking online about these like years ago and that's when it crossed my mind that I really needed to get on this. You could definitely make your own. These that I found are super soft. They are bamboo. There's a softer side to it and then there's a bit of 
not rougher, but it's got like, it, it's rougher than the other side. So there's 14 that come in here. I think we do laundry like every other week. So that's more than enough. I also like that it comes in this little bag so that when you do laundry, you can throw them in here, tie it up, toss it in the washing machine. This is from the brand called Abascus. I haven't used them yet because I just got them in the mail and I really want to wash them before I start using them. It makes me really happy that I'm starting to switch things out in my home to a more eco-friendly version of everything. If you're also one that's going through this journey, don't stress yourself out thinking that you need to change everything at once. You'll just make yourself go crazy. For me, it was definitely like my eating habits, going vegan, then changing my wardrobe, changing my makeup, and then slowly I'm starting to change things around my house as well. If you guys have any ideas of things that I could be switching around in my home as well, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear some of the changes that you've made. Right now for me next, I think it's gonna be the shower curtain. You know how you always have the fabric shower curtain and then inside you have like a plastic one and we do buy ours from the dollar store and we switch it up like every two months. The last Last two times that I've switched them, I don't know why it's just cluing in now, but I'm like, this is a lot of plastic. Even when you take it out, you're like trying to wrap it all up around you so that you can throw it in the garbage and it's a big amount of plastic. So I think that's going to be the next move for me. And yeah, I'm a weird creature. I really like organizing. So this for me has been a lot of fun doing the research to find new things and then reorganizing everything. But yeah, this is definitely one that I wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye. And the, so, oh, and some of them get bent. Um, and some of them, <laughs> some of them get bent. So I went on Amazon. I was doing... Um, 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 <laughs>